You say your mother paid you $300 to lie to CPS about what was going on in the home. Yeah. And why was that? Um, she was afraid of the outcome that was going to basically happen because of my dad. She was afraid of him, she was intimidated by him, and she didn't want to like take the blame for everything that's happened as well. So yeah. I was given $300 and I had to tell the Child Protective Services agent at school the next day that it was my brother who was in, I think, the second grade at the time, that I had this big green bruise on my arm and that he did it. Where did the bruise come from? It came from my dad. Yeah. And his excuse was that it was his flat knuckles and that flat knuckles don't hurt. <laughs> And taken uh -huh. out of context. Uh huh. And um, and he stabbed was, the back of your hand with a carving fork. Yeah, at Christmas dinner. That what? was pretty bad. I don't know how you don't remember because everyone remembers. Um, By the way, five years ago. In there, front there was, of your kids, do, do you call your wife a word? No. <laughs> what? No. Yes, he does. Yeah, no, he does. I do not. Yes, he does. I call her my beauty queen since the day I met her. <laughs> Dr. Phil is trained in deception detection. Are you serious? He well, here are some excerpts tell. of texts that Jim sent Liz, uh, his thoughts on women. Not on women. This is what you said. As long as you have a blank, yep. you can get away with all manner of lies in our society. Yep. And uh, what that asterisk there has four letters in it. Yeah, but that's not calling her one. That says if you have one. <laughs> And, and there's more text, you should actually put the whole text up, not just the two little bits. This is what Nick reported. He said, he said all kinds of stuff about you being a whore. Yep. You blank him for a new purse oh or God. shoes. Horrible, disgusting stuff I don't even want to say. Every hot girl we walk by, he talks about blank, blank, blank. So, so I'm going to tell you that part there, I point him out to Nicholas and I say, Nicholas, she's a hottie for you, not for me. He's 16. He's 16 who's had sex with multiple He's girls. He's 16. And you let your daughter have sex at age 13 in our house, under my roof, against my wishes. How is that any You're different? You're there too. Okay, yeah, sorry, you threatened to send me to jail if I did anything happened. about it. Okay, never that's an excellent, excellent effort at deflection. However, <laughs> if you could explain to me um, but, saying that your wife is the lousiest parent in the world. Can you explain to me, your son saying, he said all kinds of stuff about you, this is mother, yep. being a whore. Yeah, so I didn't use that word. Go check, there's not you one square word. You called me a prostitute. Word. Yes. And I've been married to you for 23 years. <laughs> well, <laughs> to so, so tomato. let me explain that. Okay, no, I don't explain it. Just tell me, do you believe that it's appropriate to be referring to a boy's mother as a prostitute? Okay. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, in the last few days, I've been trying to get closer to him because he's my son. So some of that stuff was buddy-buddy talk because he was buddy-buddying me. What? Oh. Well, okay. no, it was because... So it was you that was saying that her mistake is she wants to be more friends with the kids than a parent. Yes. And so you're saying you're saying this oh, was I'm you're buddying you. up to him, being his friend. You got it. I stopped parenting five years ago. I was okay. the parent for 13 years, and well, five years ago I well, stopped parenting. Pot, meat, kettle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm glad you said that's why I'm here. I want the kettle to know she's the kettle.